Hi there, and welcome to the first edition, or at least the first try, of the Sean Gallagher Has Thoughts blog, video blog, at GallagherThinks.com. I am, of course, Sean Gallagher, and I thought, why not give this a try? You know, I have a nice little background here. We've seen a lot of different backgrounds from home in the last two years with the pandemic, so I haven't had to really do this, but I thought I'd give it a try. But I'm going to give you some commentary here. I usually write my thoughts out, but I figure we do a little bit of a video here, especially with the theme being, well, Super Bowl week. And I have the shirt on here that... Uh, I didn't buy, someone got it for me, but I just thought, hey, in the spirit of things, and it's actually FC Cincinnati, uh, orange and blue, not the orange and black of the Bengals, but that's kind of where we're going with today's vlog. We're two days out from the Super Bowl, it's Friday as we're recording this, and it is the Bengals up against the Rams, and as somebody who grew up in Pittsburgh, and as you maybe can see behind me, yep, that is a Steeler helmet, I'm a guy that lives in Cincinnati, I work in uh, news radio here in Cincinnati, anchoring reporting, but I'm originally from Pittsburgh, Steeler fan, uh, not the crazy, kooky kind of Steeler fan, I guess, if I want to put myself in a category. But I know what it's like to get to this point. Four Super Bowls I've seen in my life, two of them which they have won. And I think about nine AFC championships since I've been alive. So that kind of tells you that uh, they've probably lost more. They've definitely lost more AFC championships than won. But, you know, I know what it's like to get to the Super Bowl. But I've lived here for about three years now. When I first got here, the Bengals were awful. You know, so bad that in my first full year here, 2019, they went 2-14. and 14. I went to the Steelers-Bengals game at Paul Brown Stadium. Stadium's half full, and I would say there was more black and gold than uh, Bengals stripes. But it's been amazing to see this quick turnaround, the excitement around the team, and just watching people in this city and how they're reacting to getting to this point. Uh, I don't understand the Who Day thing, but it's the official chant. But it's been fun to see people get excited. The idea that for the first time in 33 years, they get a crack at winning the Super Bowl and also winning the first ever Super Bowl, which just seems like it's such a rarity. It's, it's very hard to fathom going that long and not knowing what it's like to win that kind of championship. So some people might say, well, as a Steelers fan, does that mean that uh, you're bitter? Or are you mad that they're in this game? And I just look at people and I say, no, I'm not mad at all. I mean, mind you, I wish it was Pittsburgh. I mean, T.J. Watt gave me some hope when he had the scoop and score in the wild card game against Kansas City, but we all know how that game went. But it's been fun to watch this team because it reminds me so much of my first experience watching the Steelers win the Super Bowl, and that goes back to 2005. And that year, I just remember it was a they were 7-5 and five at one point, the Steelers, and they won their last four games, and then they ran the table. They won all four games on their way to their, uh, the fifth Super Bowl in the, in the team's history. And kind of the incentive behind that particular Super Bowl was that it was going to be Jerome Bettis' final year. They were hoping to get him that Super Bowl championship, get him back to Detroit, and get him a Vince Lombardi trophy before he hung it up. Because at that point, Bettis was, he was ready to retire. This year, I think it's been more about, I would say, uh, the fan base here in Cincinnati. That there has been this kind of excitement. Uh, the, the players today really don't think about the past as much. You know, when you think back to... The, the, the 90s after going to the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 23, and then the shortcomings, losing in the first round. I mean, look at how everything progressed. You know, this fan base was just happy to get back to the playoffs. You have a home wild card game, and you're just saying, please win us our first playoff game in 31 years, which the Bengals did against the Raiders. And then they go to Nashville, and they take on the Tennessee Titans. And then we see Evan McPherson make the field goal, and it's like, okay, we might have something here. I don't know how many people actually thought they were going to go to Tennessee and win, but they did. And then Kansas City, down by 18, able to make the comeback. And that's when you knew, okay, this team is very special. You know, come back from 18 points down. You beat the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium. And now you got something here. So I think this Super Bowl is more about uh, recognizing the fans and their ability to stay with this team for so long. Even the average fan to come back and really buy into this. Obviously, you got your diehards. You got the people who are casual fans. And then you have those who maybe kind of trailed off. Maybe they were more the um, FC Cincinnati soccer way with them winning the USL Cup so early on in their existence. And now you're bringing them back with a winning team because a winning team can do so much for you. It does so much for a town. Look at look at the, the sports scenes in this in this city. You have a USL Cup. Some people may or may not consider that a professional championship. You have the Cyclones who have won the Kelly Cup. And then there are the Cincinnati Reds who won the World Series last in 1990. And that team's been around 99 years longer than the Bengals. So baseball's the first sport in this city, but this is Ohio. They love football here. So when the Bengals are successful, then it makes everything a little bit better. And speaking from experience of having a team in the Super Bowl, it, it really does put 
a lot of things to, to perspective. It actually changes things for you a little bit. You know, food tastes better, the air feels a little bit fresher, and you kind of forget just how bad the weather is in the Midwest in February. I mean, it's, it's been crazy. We've had snow and ice, and now it's, you know, 50 last two days, and it's going to be really cold on Super Bowl Sunday with so many people wanting to get out and watch the game somewhere. But it just changes everything when you get to this point. So um, not upset at all that they're in this game. I'm actually happy that we don't have to watch the Kansas City Chiefs for a uh, four straight year play in the Super Bowl. And obviously, you know, Rams are a good team, but uh, there's something special about this Cincinnati Bengals team. Just gets people excited when the nation gets behind you, when you have a quarterback that is cool and confident as Joe Burrow behind center, that changes a lot too. Exciting wide receiver like Jamar Chase. So I'm looking forward to what's going to happen this weekend. And I'll be interested to see what happens if they actually win. How are the people in the city going to actually react if the Bengals win the Super Bowl? I saw how they reacted after the AFC Championship game. You would have thought they won the Super Bowl. So it's going to be a wait and see kind of thing, but I'm looking forward to it, watching the game on Sunday. Don't know where I'm watching it at this point, but I do want to be around Bengals fans just to see the reaction should they get that championship finally for the city. Well, that's going to do it for this first edition of the Sean Gallagher Has Thoughts video blog. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow the page, and also you can find me on Twitter at Gallagher Radio if you want to follow along there.